Well, when it happened live, I was fucking losing it because I thought it was, you know, I was like, is this going to go unannounced? Is, is anyone going to talk about this? And and as it unfolded, you know, they talked about it on the panel. They talked about it on Twitter. Everyone was going nuts. So it was definitely uh, something that was addressed that was as big a deal as I think it should have been. But I don't want to come down too hard on a guy. I mean, Dan Kelly, he's he's kind of mixed. He's mixed with the American Hockey League and the NHL. And here you see it. He's getting off and. Like, this is just, this is so unacceptable. That is a top six forward on a top four or five <laughs> NHL hockey team, and you're tossing him down the tunnel. I mean, imagine, like, he hits the rubber back behind the ice there when he shoves him and falls on flat on his fucking back. It would just be so bad. I'm glad that didn't happen. But think about when a, a player has an interaction with an official – even if it's like a positive thing and you put your hand on his shoulder and stuff, he's going to be like, what the fuck are you like? What are you doing? You don't touch me. Right. That's just the hockey culture. And it's, it, it's necessary. It's respect. You, those guys in stripes, you don't touch them. But in return, you're not going to get that kind of shit from an official. You don't grab a player. You don't shove him. You do what you can. You wrap your arms around him. You do what you got to do. And I don't want to be too hard on Dan Kelly. What I want to address is maybe the NHL and what they're telling these guys to do in those situations. I mean, I remember playing at the end of my career and it like a scrum, like you just get into a little scrum where guys are chit-chatting, little FUs going back and forth. Yeah. They got grab a guy, get in his ear. And by the end there, the, the officials were screaming at you like you were freaking committing murder. And you're looking at them going, can you, can you shut up? Like, what are you doing here? And they're freaking out over a scrum. And I think it comes from the NHL down Hey, you gotta you gotta stop this stuff. You gotta cut it out. We don't want to see any of that skirmishes and stuff like that. And I don't understand why. Is there any is there any chance of like head trauma or injury in those scrums? No. Is anyone doing anything outlandish? No. Is it entertaining? Does everyone in the building and watching on TV love it? Yes. So that's where my problem comes from. And I've got a friend who's a who's a linesman in the NHL, and he said he will get disciplined from that. The NHL wants us to jump in quick. It makes the referee's job easier. And they want to just kind of combat that stuff to make it easier on the actual referees. And he said that guy crossed the line there. He's an ex-player. He probably got caught up in I'm I'm part of this right now mode and gave a little shove. And I think it's just uh, something that I, I, I'm just going to let go on Dan Kelly and say, hey, I think he made a mistake and he'll be dealt with. And I'm not as hot about it as I was when it happened. But without a yeah. doubt, that needs to be addressed and talked about and, and made sure that that doesn't happen. You, you just don't fucking do that or it's going to go the other way and guys are going to start shoving linesmen back if that became the normal. And then you got a big problem on your hand.